it gives a really nice flavor and texture to the enchiladas. And then we have for the vegetarian varieties, we have a vegetarian dough that's more like a pie dough with eggs and butter. So this is the traditional dough. And what you do is you wet one side of it. And then this is our traditional filling here is the hand cut beef with onions and spices. And then in Argentina, as I mentioned before, every country has kind of their own little spin. So um, in Argentina, it's a tradition to put a piece of an egg and an olive inside. And like when I was a kid, it was always like, who's gonna get the egg and the olive? It's like little fries inside, so it's just a fun little tradition. And then um, you'll see that each empanada has its own edge. That's how we know what's inside. And so this edge is called a repulgue in Spanish. Um, so for the beef one, I mentioned earlier that I went to a school in Paris. And so after school, I ended up working there for a few years and I worked at a pastry shop. And I had to make like a million tarts. And so doing crimping the edge. And so that's why for this one, um, I, I do it like a, a tart edge. So you just pinch like this and then you get your little edge. So this is our traditional edge. And then the chicken one, which is the spilling. So this one is called Cuello Saltado, which is like um, an homage to my mom who's from Peru. So in Peru, one of their most traditional dishes is called Lomo Saltado, and it's um, sauteed meat with onions and potatoes. It's, it's a little bit spicy, it's really good. So this is like that, but it's chicken. Um, and then again, you put a piece of an egg and an olive. And then this one you close up, and this one has a fork pressed edge, so it's super easy to make. So you'll know now, um, when you see the fork press, it's the chicken. So who decided like what like the, like how the edges would be? So um, I always like to stay pretty authentic. So these are, most of the edges in Argentina are like this. So if you go there, the chicken one is usually gonna have a pork crust edge. The beef one is gonna have a braided edge. Um, I just did that one because I was so used to doing it. Um, but we also have a braided edge for our other beef one. And then um, in Argentina, the ham and cheese one is almost always round. So show you how to do that one. So pretend that this is our, our ham and cheese. And then you close it up. I notice there's some other fillings in the chicken. Are there any anything else in there? Um, like this vegetable? is our um, onions, tomato, um, serrano chilies. Is all in this one. So this one, you close it like normal, and then you just bring So 
In Mexico, they make a lot of sweet empanadas. In Argentina, it's not super common. They're mostly savory, but we do have one apple one um, that we make. Yeah, it's like an apple pie. There's chunks of apples and um, there's sauteed butter and sugar and cinnamon. Mm, um, I with, with that. the butter dough, it's really good. Yeah, did you say there's only one type of dough or two? And what's two. the difference? So the um, traditional dough is made with beef fat okay. and um, beef fat, flour, water, and salt. Okay. And then mm. the other one is vegetarian, so it's like a pie dough. It's yes. with um, butter and eggs. So knowing that you eat a lot of them, honestly, how do you know like good from great? For and me, great from except yeah. exceptional. For me, it's all about the dough. Um, I spent a year developing the recipes for these before I started, and the dough is the hardest part um, because I, it needs to be strong enough to hold the filling, but also still delicate and crispy. I don't like when the dough is like really thick. Um, so you'll see like having that balance was really hard, and that's to me the sign of a good empanada. Obviously, the filling has to be good, but the dough has to be like really, really good. I noticed they are fried, right? These are baked. Oh, they're big, yeah, right.